I thought that I would dedicate this video and kind of commemorate it to Black History Month as probably being one of my shortest makeup videos since it is the shortest month of the year. Black History Month. We need a longer month. Heidi Ho, Nibirino. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming and watching and all that good stuff. It is Black History Month. Yay us. Happy Black History Month. The shortest month of the year. I hope you guys are just, you know, taking in all the Black excellence and learning a bunch of different things about what Black contributors brought to America, as well as how many Black people and many inventors, entertainers, and just a plethora of different iconic figures have blessed America with, as well as the world with, just to showcase how excellent we are. And it's just, it's just something to be thankful for. I'm just going to kind of do my own little special occasion with this video. Maybe like a cute little, I don't want to say little, that's a little common. I'm going to be highlighting black excellence in the form of makeup. This is kind of a thing that I made up myself. A little proud. I'm calling it the Bomb Series, B-O-M-B, -B, which stands for Black Owned Makeup Brands. Hopefully nobody has that out there because that would be plagiarism. If it's not, or if it is, Thawi. Hopefully this eye look comes out nice. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and before I go, shout out to my aunt yet again little ashy like yeah she did that happy heart health month i think that's the proper healthy heart heart health something happy belated valentine's day singles day awareness galentine's day whatever the case is happy to it but yeah let's get started on this video mm, everything is ashy today um oh yeah zilu really like these because they're black not only just because they're black, but because they're really cool and they're kind of like my signature go-to glasses. Got them for 20 bucks. They're good for Lolo. But I got my eyebrows done. Fun fact, I tried to do this on my own at the house. So I took a razor and what had happened was when I decided to kind of give myself an edge up, I gave myself kind of a sheer off and I took this part off. So I looked inquisitive yet perplexed at the same time. So I'll never do that again. For starters, we're gonna go in with eyebrows, first thing. And what I'm gonna be using, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Brow, but again, not all black brands. It's more so a mixture of different products, but I'm gonna be paying attention to the black owned makeup brands. So this is the Benefit Cabral. I'm gonna be using my Morphe 158 brush because it has a spoolie. Mm, this is a little nasty. I hope you guys have been paying attention to what's been going on on social media in terms of the different information that talked about when it comes to Black history. I gotta say, I have learned so much from the past week on every single social platform or social media platform than I did in the 12 years of me in the American education system. I'm not here to spill tea, but I mean, I'm just here to spread facts. Don't at me, just saying, argue with your mother. For those of us that didn't get to experience or even have our history told growing up, you know, we had parents that would either buy us black Barbie dolls or that would give us books about the history that nobody showed us. This eyebrow is done for the most part, so I'm gonna do the other eyebrow and then we're gonna go straight into the eye look of the featured products and yeah. I'm gonna tie my hair back. I have the Juvia's Place Nubian 2, and I also have the Masquerade. We're gonna go for a bold eye look because black, bold, and beautiful. I'm gonna prime the eyelids, and I'm gonna use the Depi Louise, if I can find you. Use a little bit of a lot. I'm gonna use my finger. Now that we have met European standards to ensure that our eyeshadow pops, I'm gonna go in with Morocco, but basically let me do a, let me do a little bit of this. So Juvia's Place, a lot of their products are based on African Empire and Old Egypt type inspired looks. So a lot of their artwork is African derived. So that's one of the things I like about it. And the, cl the, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the colors are really pretty. <laughs> so yeah and we're gonna kind of build that into the crease and then buff it out so that it doesn't look too kindergartenish. and i'm gonna go in with my m433 
gonna take this real techniques brush i'm gonna use kenya right here and then i'm gonna put that on top of that it looks a little patchy i'm not even gonna use that change of plans we're gonna go in with the morphe four five six so many different people are showcasing their knowledge of the topics around black history and are dedicating a lot of their channels and a lot of their platforms to remember those that sacrificed for us and black history is not just mlk like i wish people would stop doing that you think that black history is slavery and martin luther king when in fact it's more than just people that make you feel comfortable oh, i think i might like do makeup in a history lesson we're gonna use this brush right here and i'm gonna blend it in so that it's not as harsh i think i'm gonna do a little cut crease action proceed with caution we're going to see how this goes i didn't even know that 3d glasses were created by a black woman she was a nasa engineer what until then let's get back to the crease. i'm wearing this because my alma mater is Oakwood university come on now Oakwood University, located in Huntsville, Alabama. It is an Adventist HBCU. I just thought that I would wear this to highlight HBCUs because we're cool, we're awesome. It definitely needs to be highlighted as far as education is concerned because to me that's one of the core elements that kind of brings the commonalities of um, each other. Because I mean, I'm not gonna lie, going to an HBCU was lit. That's cool. And I'm going to go into the corners where that crease is right here. I want to bring that brown out some more. So I'm going to dip into Kenya. And I'm going to use my M. What is it? My M321. Can bring out the orange a little bit so we're gonna take the orange and we're gonna go along the line all right so we're done with that next we're going to dip into the masquerade palette i'm going to use makita that's cute i love that i'm gonna use my finger because i like to use my finger for stuff like this sorry if i'm flipping you off change of plans didn't like it so we're gonna go with this well she tried at least you know she we're gonna make this look prettier i'm gonna try kenya can you believe no I'm shut up i'm going to use jezebel okay and i'm gonna do the other eye and be right back and prime my face so that um it's ready by the time that i put on all of my makeup Giselle, move out the way. This is Giselle. Say hi, Giselle. She was in my other video, the very first one. She's a little done up today. Hit her with the hot comb. Also, another important and traumatic experience for black girls. It's almost like a black girl's rite of passage. Rite of passage? It's a passage that she has to go through. Like an important event at church or something or over the weekend. It's just an entire thing of you getting burned. Like I still smell blue magic grease. Like when when did smoke feel like metal on my ear? That's some heavy smoke you pulling right now then, huh? Where to have girls? I don't even think I would do that. One, cause I would be scared. Shout out to all the black grandmamas that still hot combing their heads without using a mirror and all they do is this. To feel it out. They ain't looking at nothing. They just straight up using whatever gifts they got. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. Be looking like Van Gogh and burn off my ear. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty 440. To be honest, I'm trying to use up all this makeup before it expires. So I ain't got to look like a hoarder. A whore hoarding. What if they had a TV show like that called Whores Hoarding? That would be interesting. Back up a little bit. I don't need y'all seeing my lace and judging. If you ain't already. It's my NYX something brush something can't stop won't stop get guap <laughs> that is so gross i'm a little proud of where my skin is at i mean after last month's massacre it was a little much because i mean my skin was breaking out out like a darn crunch bar out side note another important black fact fact did you know that a black woman came up with the pad for women? 
I didn't. I didn't even care for history. Honestly, I'm gonna say this. Don't get me wrong, you know. I know about American history and all of that. And majority of the lies that they told. If history had been taught like Hamilton, I would have enjoyed it thoroughly. And if it was truthful too, because don't get me started on that. I would have definitely loved, love, love history more than I didn't if that English sentence makes sense. But enough about the negativity, let's get on to what really matters. So this is from this brand called Oma Beauty. It's really light, but I'm gonna balance it out. It is a African owned brand, black owned brand, and I love the packaging of it, simple yet chic. She kind of labels them in a way where they are based off of steps. That's her concealer. And then this is also her contour stick and highlighting stick, so. There's the highlighter end and there's a contour stick end. So that's really cute. It ain't cheap though, but I mean, hey, it's high end. I mean, nobody questions about other high end brands that are very expensive for their pricing of products. So go support a black business. Let's clean this up a bit. Again, this is like really light for me, but we're gonna make it work. I'm only gonna use a little bit because literally a little goes a long way with their brand. Show you what it looks like by itself. So, <laughs> Look like I have. I must ask you a question with my little mustache. So that's what that looks like. But to make sure that this does not look too white, we're gonna put a little bit of this to combat that. We're gonna now go into this right here, the Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt Plus Strobe Duo Stick, and I got this in brown sugar. Like to me, that's enough. Shout out to these two right here, Phyllis and Floyd. So to make their debut from Benefit something. Is it not Benefit, what's this place called again? BH Cosmetics, boom, there it is. I mean, that is just as creamy as it's gonna get. Miss Alma, I'm gonna insert her name just so I put respect on it. But all I can say is thank you so much for your contribution to black makeup industry. You contour based off of your face shape. So I have a Caillou circular type of face. So I go from here, because I got like a nice little five head thing. I'm not insecure of it, I love my five head. Oh no. That means I'm smart. At least that's what my mama told me. Okay, so now for this right here, this little nose action. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want to use a smaller brush. This is the Morphe E62. We don't want to look like a Van Gogh painting, though this is art, you know, we got to make sure this is still blended out. Love that. That, I don't even like to contour because I don't really care for it, but I enjoy doing it with this. We're going to take this in. Hopefully it'll show up. It's a really nice sheer color. It feels almost like lotion, but we're going to take this. There's nothing too much. Yeah, if you like the sheerness, I mean, you can't. Okay, there it is. Like right up in here really nice if you like the natural as just washed your face some up in the morning glow i really like this one that one is really pretty my blush from rare beauty i'm gonna do one do i use my morphe 439 now we're gonna take our powder and we're gonna press it into the skin but while this is kind of like laying it down, I'm gonna go back in, freshen up a little bit. Oh, that one's actually prettier. Let me use this brush, I'm gonna use my mirror, and I'm gonna go underneath it. Ooh, running a little low. So there's that. This is from Lash Paradise, AKA known as the bootleg. Better than sex by Too Faced. Okay, so that's done. Mascara's on, and I'm not gonna put on lashes today because I'm not going anywhere, but. <laughs> Last thing that we have to do is spray, so I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And kind of like beat that in. Juvia's Place, love the palette. All my beauty, love the contour stick, love the highlight, all of that. And they are both great products. I love the way this eye look turned out. Little something slight. Well, not something slight. It's a little cute, but still a little bold. Oh, I'm stupid. Wow. 
I'm really dumb. Where am I going without a lip? I'm all excited for what? Fenty Beauty. Boom, boom. Here we go. We're going to do layers on layers. Okay, and then next we're going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the color Diamond Milk. So this is it. I mean, <laughs> the face is deep. It was already done. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the eye look. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to tap into the algorithm of YouTube, okay, please? Happy Black History Month and shout out to all the HBCUs, all the Black graduates, entrepreneurs, educators, writers, film directors, all Black everything. Thank you so much for y'all's contribution to our community as well as societies outside of America. And all of your efforts mean so much to us. And also shout out to the Black frontline workers. We're just highlighting all Black everything. But yeah, shout out to everybody that has been putting their life on the line for our health as well as the sanctity or the safety of people's lives. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thanks, guys, and I'll see y'all on the flip side again. Love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.